So I like to talk about LinkedIn because I think today it's really about personal branding, making your uniqueness visible. Um, so I like to tell you two important pillars of branding. One is the form. It's something that really everyone can see easily. And another aspect is really the, in the substance. What is within you, your values, your unique selling proposition, the outlook in life, the, your brand essence, these are something that people have to discover over time. So I'm not going to talk about that because I talk about it on the first day. So I'm going to focus on LinkedIn. Now, I wonder how many of you know your SSI score, your social selling index. Now, if you are locked on right now on LinkedIn, be it desktop or mobile, I'd like you to use your Chrome, your Safari, and go to linkedin.com slash sales slash SSI. Assuming you are locked on, you will be able to see this chart here. This is your data. So let me repeat the URL, linkedin.com slash sales slash SSI. Now, if you're here just for day two, if you are hearing me now, uh, Please don't be alarmed, you're not late. This is just a bonus session. But I'd like you to look at your score. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to look at your score. This is something that LinkedIn does very differently from Facebook. Facebook has a lot of our information. This is your big data. But Facebook is not sharing anything of this with you. LinkedIn, on the other hand, is making this very open. So what does this score mean? If we do not know where is our challenges, or where, where are our challenges, we do not know how to manage our account. So let me just quickly run through this. Social Selling Index has four areas. One, personal brand, that is the orange part. Wait, are, is everybody locked on? You're seeing a score? Good. All right, you have to see a score because if you don't see a score, it's very difficult for you to visualize. Now, and then it's about finding the right people. So first one, orange bar, it simply means this. If you don't write down, it's fine. It simply means LinkedIn wants to know. It's everything about you filled up in every field on your LinkedIn profile. Number two, finding the right people in purple. This thing signifies that LinkedIn will look at all your connections. All your connections. And they will have a certain score on all your connections and they will decide if these connections mean something to you. All right, if you have a low score, it means that your connections is not helping you very much in your career or your business. The one in red, this is something a lot of people will be having low score because if you're not sharing anything on LinkedIn as much as you do on Facebook, you have a low score. So LinkedIn will just look at you as someone who is dormant. You're not sharing anything, right? Now, the last one, building relationship. This is the most crucial one. It's about whether you reply somebody, somebody message on time. Does, do you take one month to reply a certain message? When someone asks you a question, in the discussion group, do you respond quickly? So it all adds up. So 25 each times 4 is 100. This score should be as high as possible. Now, this short presentation will allow you to grow this score by at least 10 to 20 points in the next three weeks. So I'm going to just share to you certain things. Before I go on, can you see that on top there are two more percentage? Can you see whether mobile or, or desktop? This should be small. That means the first one, industry SSI, LinkedIn will rank you depending on your industry and your job scope, rank you against everyone in your area. So if you are in uh, uh, UK or London, they will rank you, assuming you are a senior digital marketing manager, they will rank you against everyone in the same locality. If you are top 1%, that means you are top 1%. All right, 500 people, you are top 5. 50,000 people, you are top 500. So it's relative, just to let you know. So very quickly, I'm going to show you 10 things that you can tighten your LinkedIn profile. So I have 12 minutes more. Number one, below your name, there is a headline. If you edit your profile, that is not your job destination. If you do not key in anything, LinkedIn will truncate that 
with your latest work experience. And that's not fair to you because every brand will have a tagline. Yesterday, when we talk about brand story, when we, when we talk about story finding, everything is encapsulated into a tagline. So what is your tagline? If you're a brand, what will your tagline be? So if you look at my profile, okay, my tagline will be jack of many trades and master of a few. That is what I like to be known for. All right? Okay, so it depends on you. All right? If you're someone who likes to make simple, <laughs> sorry, if you like, if you're someone who is good at making complicated things simple to understand, that is your tagline. So it's how you go about leading your professional life. So I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I'm going to just show you some guidelines. The best way to learn is to look at somebody else's profile and look at what's written here. You should convert this long URL, which is now probably in numbers, into something unique. And where do you put this URL? I think you should put it on places like your Gmail signature, your WhatsApp message status, so that everyone who are in contact with you for business or otherwise, know where to find you on LinkedIn, right? Don't worry, this deck, I promise you, you'll have it, all right? So you just need to remember what to do for your LinkedIn. This is the most complicated part, your summary, number three. I suggest that today, less is more. You do not need to write a long story because today, people only have a minute or so to read whatever you have. So I want to give you a formula of writing summary. This is like a CV cover letter. The first part, please talk about yourself, not what you do. Second paragraph, it's about what you do, your role in your career. You can always talk about the client that you have. And part three is the closing paragraph. What makes you so unique? Why should I hire you? Why should I work with you? Why should I collaborate with you? This is your unique selling preposition. What is so special about you? Is it because you spend a lot of time in China, you understand the culture? Is it because you have been to five different industries in the last 30 years like myself? You have a lot of different diverse experience. There must be something very unique about you, right? So you got that? Three paragraphs and I suggest you do it under 150 words. Number four, you need to get used to this word now social portfolio it simply means this can i or anybody find a link to show that you have done what you have done what you said you have done in your profile so i'll give you an example if you have been a teacher before if you have a slide share account that i can see your presentation that'd be wonderful if you're a designer all right if i can have access to your pinterest your instagram to look at your world that'd be wonderful if you have been uh, doing marketing and you're involved in a lot of TV ads, for example, then where is the YouTube video? So LinkedIn is a place where you can substantiate a lot of things that you have said or that you have done through a lot of different links. So uh, when you look at certain people's profile, it looks like a multimedia portal. All right, that's because they upload a lot of different links onto it. And I think you should as well. All right, so from today onwards, please Google yourself. Hopefully you find something good and please copy it and remember it now. Don't depend on your company to save that video or that picture with you inside because when they revamp the web, it may no longer be around. So I suggest you save a copy on your own Google Drive, sorry, your own Google photo. And if it's a video, create your own YouTube account. Please make sure that the, that the link is live forever. This is something that a lot of people miss out. A lot of people are just keen something generic, all right? Marketing digital marketing. Now, these are all general words. This is the SEO, the keywords for LinkedIn. You have to be very specific. You have to think about what is special. General is boring. You've got to be very focused. What kind of digital marketing? Is it CRM? Is it keyword analysis? Is it content creation? Is it social media monitoring? What is that? You have to be very, very specific of the skills that you are good at. All right, so that when people key in the right words, your profile will be ranked high enough. And by the way, when you search for something, you have a list of a few thousand people. Can I ask you, have you ever thought about that? Who, why is it that somebody is ranked number one and you are ranked number 999? The difference lies in the SSI score. Okay, so 
Now, I'm coming to the end. It's very fast, right? Work experience. I'm very sure a lot of us will be keying in a lot of job description. Am I right? You do this, you organize this, you report to this, you generate that. Today, I suggest you should re erase everything and just simply key in your work achievement. Because you've got to write this part as if the headhunter is reading it, whether you are in business or not, because no one rewards a doer. And by the way, all job descriptions are the same. Okay, of your same appointment. Am I, am I right? It's about the same. So you got to key in what did you achieve. You got to think very hard. Achievement statement is what people are looking for, for a brand. And I think we should have this habit that LinkedIn is the new name card. So remember yesterday, I did not give out any name cards and I played the game. How many of you are not here yesterday? You're not here yesterday, okay? So maybe uh, after lunch, I will play the LinkedIn connection game again. So this time, please be alert and take out your mobile so that we can all connect everyone in the room through LinkedIn. All right, I will. So, so today, take out all your old name cards in your drawer and make sure you find everyone on LinkedIn. That is what I like you to do, okay? Because when you walk out of the company, you cannot take away any name cards, but your connections really stay with you, all right? And I think this is really underused. Do you know you can find a lot of people by going through the filters for search? And I'm not talking about the premium package. Even when you are having the free account, you can do a lot of searching. Of course, it's better with the sales navigator. All right. So this is the last part. And I'm done. Recommendation is another word for testimonial. Have you ever done something great for someone but he didn't give you a testimonial. Yeah? So now it's time to ask for payback. But he has to be on LinkedIn. So if you just ask for request for recommendation, he may take a long time to get back to you. So I've got a formula to help you. Can you copy and paste these four questions and send it to him? Because by him answering concisely for everyone, he's in fact giving you a very nicely done testimonial. How did I... How did you know me? What did I do for you? How do you rate or feel about my performance? And lastly, what are three things about me that you really like? So I suggest that uh, you should send this to your ex-boss, assuming you're still talking to your ex-boss. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, ask, get, get one. Uh, from the side, one from customer, one from your boss, and one from the one that you work with. Maybe he reports to you. I think that would be great for every work experience. Have at least three recommendations. So, I have, a, I have a few more less important slides. I will not dwell on any, but this is the important 78 points I'd like you to take away so that from today onwards, just don't think of digital marketing as a job. It's a lifestyle. If I know your marketer, I will want to know how well you market yourself. Of course, that's just me, but I'm very sure a lot of millennials are quietly searching for you under the table who are using LinkedIn or Google. So thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you again at 10, 10 a.m. All right, thank you.